WEMF Radio Now. Welcome back to the Young Jerks. Only on WEMF Radio. Dot com. We're not even letting you f- ch- uh, finish, finish our uh, sentences. Our words. Anymore, like we always it's do. like no words. We're words, finishing words, each other's words. Not even sentences. Sense. We're finishing each other's words. words. <laughs> Frankie, we're having too good of a time. We gotta fight here. more often. We do because when we make up, it's yeah, better. Knock down, drag out. Well, we gotta talk. We have great men. And sometimes <laughs> men have to fight to talk. <laughs> you ever notice that? No, I mean, I, I think so. I think we're, we're too busy I, to talk. You know, we don't have the time, so we're just gonna scream at each other. We should just we should schedule some screaming every you know a couple of weeks. And, so people uh, don't know we we got in a little beef last week. Just a little one. Yeah, we talked about it. We did. Yeah. We, we hammered it out. Yeah. Some of you may have heard it. Some of you may not, <laughs> but at any rate. But we only have a few minutes, so we're here. We we're together. We're right on the it. issues, and uh, we're talking again um, about medical marijuana, about medical cannabis here in the Bay State. This huge protest, giant, giant protest, and you know, I think it's just going to keep growing. You know, as we get closer and closer to the date, and and I really, really think that we're going to have you know, a nice, nice, thick number of people out there in front of and the lots TV of media. Age, you know, and the great thing about it is, it's not on a Saturday. You know, it's, it's 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 not on it's not on some day when you know you you you're passing out flyers to tourists. No, it's, it's, it's going right there know. to the DPH of the state house, like we did the last DPH one. That Absolutely. was what was important is that those people at the DPH had to look out the windows. They were trying to laugh at us actually, but we had an effect as they're going in and out of the office. Mm-hmm. The big wigs had to walk by us. There was media there, and and there were signs. And uh, I'm expecting more. This is an election time. The pressure's on Deval. There's a tight election between Charlie Baker and Martha Coakley. There's the Democratic debates coming up. I mean, uh, the governor debates coming yep. up right now. Evan Falchuk is doing well. And we also have to mention that, too. Um, we have some special news about Evan Falchuk. He's been invited to a bunch of televised debates. He's going to be on Tuesday night on uh, Channel... WBZ? Yeah, W Channel DZ, 4. Channel 4, channel I think yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. With, uh, you know, John Keller and WBZ Radio. It's a big debate. Mm-hmm. All the five candidates televised. Everyone's going to see and it. And they're going to be able to argue with, with with one another, too, which is cool. Yeah. They can directly question other candidates. It's not, not going to be one of those stuffy, like, oh, excuse me, you cannot directly address other candidate kind of debates. It's going to be a, a real, real debate. And he did great in the first debate. That wasn't even suited to him like this one will be. Mm-hmm. For and sure. in the first debate, he really took it. People are talking about it in the media, and uh, we're happy to say he's coming on. We're going to be talking to him next week That's right. about that debate on WEMF Radio, the Young Jerks. And we're going to be asking him to join this protest. We're going to ask uh, maybe the next governor. I know it's still a long shot, but he, dude's in third place right now. For and he's surgeon. He's mm-hmm. the only candidate that you can say right now that he's doing better than he was a month ago. Uh, Martha Coakley's down. Charlie Baker, they say he's leading, but he's still got a lot of issues, and I don't think he can win. I really don't. And I think Evan, he's the dark horse. Like He's just really running for 3%. I think he's going to actually get it, which is a, unbelievable, because mm-hmm. 3% is even hard to get third yeah. party now. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> but he could actually even go beyond that. He, he really... This is big. We don't have much time left um, on the show or in this campaign, but he's com- we're going to be talking to him next week, and you know we're going to be talking to him about this medical marijuana, about the debates, about how these other candidates. Yep. It's very even, exciting. Even in the debates, when, when your, your question was asked at, at the last debate, you know, who was the one that answered it and actually he answered, answered it? the it. best. It was and that wasn't even, truck. again, every time we ask a question, they don't even get the, the question right. <laughs> Do you ever notice that? They changed the question? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, it's just like we were talking about at the beginning of the show. You know, they take the pots they want and, and to yeah. try to skew it the way that they want to skew yeah. it, you know? But um, we got Healthy Hetty yeah. in the building. Hey. And they've been waiting all show. They have. Patiently. Awesome people here. We didn't know we were, you know, we weren't planning to be, you know, so it's all good. We'll wait forever. <laughs> We'll all right, for well, every go back Frankie in the green room, Mikey. Then. We'll wait forever. <laughs> this is, no, we don't want to wait forever. Yeah, no. We don't have much time. We want and to get we you love on. you guys, and we love having you on our show. Holly thank is you, here thank from you. Healthy Hetty with thank her husband, you. Steve, who's always kicking around. Hello, how are you? Yes. Hi. The, these two people, I love them. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate being here, and we really appreciate it, and thank you for having us. Thank for you. Sure. For sure. You. We want to bring you in today, because um, we know that you're great people, and the work that you do, and how excited you are to help people and, and just about cannabis and we've been watching this situation we haven't talked to you in a little bit like you know besides online and stuff but you know this situation with this girl Haley and some of these other kids that we've been finding out in Massachusetts that can't get this medicine that's 20 to 1 
You know, I'm talking right. about the CBDs yeah, to THC. They want the stuff that doesn't get the kid high. It's for seizures. The kids having Frank saw the kid having seizures right there at the state I mean, house, one after another, in front of the know, governor's I just, office. I, I just I saw that her at the very least, you know, just being a five year old that had the development of a one year old, and it's completely, uh, completely and utterly unnecessary. And there's an answer and a cure, right. you know, not necessarily a cure. I guess I should not necessarily a cure, but a treatment that it works. You know, better than some crazy, you know, anti seizure medication that does crazy stuff to your brain and all kinds of stuff like that. How do you do? Because I know that you work with patients and families. Have you heard of this? And how how, how do you get? Like this, this parent apparently is going to have a caregiver that's going to be growing for him, and hopefully getting plants in the next couple of months. But it's going to take a while to grow them. And meanwhile, like Frank said, the kids still having seizures every hour. Um, they're trying even other alternative medicines. Maybe some of them will work, and hopefully, it seems like maybe one of them might be. But this cannabis works. This twenty to one. Is there a way that they can get this? Do you have any recommendations? What can we do? Are we get, like, How can we get a kid like that, or the mother? Well, we're definitely um, putting the message out to the community to see you know, who we can have um, and, and try to find some assistance because there are strains out there that do exist, and I believe they are here in Massachusetts. It's just a matter of finding them and trying to get them. Um, obviously, the regulations don't make this easy uh, for it to happen, and that's the unfortunate piece to it is that this mother is watching, you know, and the parents are watching this child suffer, um, and the child is helpless because they can't do anything for themselves, and not having the ability to have safe access to the medication is really the problem here. Um, it makes me cry. I know I it is. I have a kid, you know. I have a little kid. Imagine Facebook, my kid, yeah. my kid being in that situation, no. and some governor piece, piece of garbage, right. bureaucrat is telling me that I need to wait. Right. What? And he's like, wrong on the politics too. Like he's doing it for like the wrong reason, and he's wrong on the reason. Even it's like, come on, Deval, wake up. People would love you if you do this. And and this DPH is like, wake up! You guys are the worst. You guys are so. Bad. And they go home and they kiss their beds and they tuck them in at night. Be patient. Well, they make right. other people's kids suffer. Be patient. Right. And so there's no it is no easy answer, and it, it breaks my heart because I I can't imagine the frustration and, and the sadness that this you know the parents feel, and and some are leaving and going to other states. They're you know where they're running to Colorado, becoming refugees, and it's it's not. That's not the solution. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. No, it is unacceptable. Hashtag unacceptable. Yeah. Protest! I can't wait for this protest. When is the protest? The protest is going to be the 14th of October um, at 11 a.m., starting at 11 a.m. Um, then we're going to stay outside of the DPH uh, for a, a good amount of time and then march to the State House. Um, and I myself personally, I'm, I'm, I'm going to invite everyone else to come with me. I'm going to walk into the State House mm-hmm. and I'm going to go and talk to my rep. I'm going to go talk to my senator. And then I'm going to stop by the governor's office and tell them again in person that I demand action on this and I demand that the Commonwealth stops allowing small children, MS patients, people with, you know, neuro- neurothropic diseases, you know, <laughs> that, that they, that they that, you know, PTSD, that they are not back allowed conditions. to suffer. You know, back conditions, you know, I'm like, in pain like, every like, single day. You know, whatever, whatever your condition is, mm. you should not be denied access to safe medicine. It the just should medicine. not exist. Yeah. It's because these people want to be drug pushers. Mm. They, they want you to take the, they want you to take the stuff that kills your liver. They want you to take the stuff that you could sleep walk and kill your whole family and wake up the next morning no you, you never know you did it well they still want the easy arrest too you know and they want the, and they want cost the and, and the prison money. budget yeah. money oh, and, and all the application and the, and, fees and the, and, the and the inspection fees and every little fee that the government wants to put in this way while people suffer it's disgusting and why we still don't get medicine yeah no medicine. No medicine. No, no access. No medicine. Sorry. Sorry. It's going to be another 500 grand before someone can get some medicine around here. 617-500-7100. I know we've been going hard and fast. We haven't even thrown out the number. I think we have been getting some calls, but we will look for your call if you're trying to call. 617-500-7100. We're just about out of time, though, really. So we are the Young Jerks. <clears throat> and we're here on EMF Radio. And we're sitting with uh, Healthy Heady Lifestyle. They said that right? Yes. Wow. So. Thank you. Finally. Yeah. That was the first time. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> That's like the first time well, you've like you like piped in and you waited before. for the right time. I <laughs> love it, Steve. <laughs> and uh, so you, you've, you've been listening very well, Steve. That was perfect. And uh, then we have Holly. Yes. And Steve here. Thank you. HealthyHeady.com is the website. Healthy Heady Lifestyle is the platform that we're disseminating our information through. Are you guys uh, going to this protest too? 
Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll yeah. be there um, yeah. with friends and bells and signs and everything. Yeah, we're... Um, we were just in a, a patient information session today up in Worcester, um, actually. Um, just some community people that have been um, educated um, you know, through New England Grassroots. They got together um, and decided that they were going to bring the information to their town, their location. So they went to the local library and they said, we need a meeting space. We're going to get this information together. And um, it was wonderful. We were able to be a part of that and kind of bring the healthy, heady side of vaporization and um, other methods of ingestion. Um, and, and there were people in the room and people were happy that we kind of made this place so that they could come get more information and that's what needs to happen in every city and town across America is people need to really get vocal about this and say wait this can help or it may help me in in my in my quest to heal I have there's no reason that I should be denied this um, and we all got to stand up for our right we do have a phone call let's take it hi um my name's uh, Lisa Cole, and I, I happen to be tuning into your show for the first time tonight. Wow, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, well, um, are you guys, I think um, uh, I, I, I spoke at the State House with my daughter, Madison, just a couple of weeks back. Um, so I think uh, somebody there was saying how they, they, you know, witnessed my daughter kind of seizing in front of everybody. And um, I just wanted to thank you, you know, for talking about it, getting it out there and trying to get our kids more help. Oh, we thank you, you know, for for your bravery and being out there. And I, that was I'm Frank. That was me who was there. And and, and you know, I, just my heart, you know, is with you. And and I'm and I'm going to be right there next to you, fighting, you know, to make sure that your child's able to get that medicine. Because you know, I have a little boy myself, and and you know, there, there is absolutely no reason why you know you should be in that position where you know you know something can be healthy and effective for your child, and you have no access to it. So we're right there with you, and we, we thank you so much for going out and 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 really just you know being so strong to to, to tell your story and and to stand up and and you know we thank you for that for thank sure. you yeah thank th thank you and and you know um i'm plugged into a you know a network of families here in massachusetts and you know um there's so many kids across the state that are affected by this so um thanks again for you know promoting it uh, i'm definitely look forward to the protest so nice job there and um hopefully we can make something happen thank you, thank you so much. Look, look, before we let you go are you still there yeah. Yes, I am. Well, you've asked the governor, I'm sure, on this. I know you were at the state house. Have you had any response to? to I mean, you, your story, what we were talking about today. You, you're, you're the person. You're the mom. What, what is he saying? What does the governor's office say to you? Well, uh, you know, I have called him several times, uh, and uh, you know, the answer is always, you know, we'll relay the message. You know, we'll make sure that he gets the message. So, uh, um, I don't really consider that a response. Right. Uh, you know, that's it's really unacceptable. So, so we're 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 going to keep fighting. You know, that's that's all we can do is just keep fighting every day. Wake up. You know, face the face, face the battle again and charge forward. Thank you so much. And know that there's a million people that are all there um, every morning you wake up that are thinking about you and your daughter. And, and thank you again. Um, it, it's amazing what you're, 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 you're trying to accomplish here. And, and thank you. Yeah, no, and, and you know, like like I said, thank you so much. Um, the families in Massachusetts appreciate it, and and like I said, it's going to be really exciting to see what happens with the protest. I'm I'm trying to play around with logistics to see if I can get down there um, for it because I would love to participate. But um, I think you guys will have a great turnout, and um, I think someone will hopefully start to listen. Thank you, Lisa. We we hope thank so too. You. We hope so too. That was a great call. We we are the young jerks. We went over our time, but it was it was for well worth it. Good for reason for sure. And we just kind of shut up because I mean, that was the mom. That was, there was yeah. two moms that we've been talking about um, with two different children that were up there, and that was one of them, Lisa. And very glad that she was listening, and that we're going to be standing side by side with her on this protest. Even the ones who can't be there, you can be there like I am by promoting this. I am yep. going all out. You heard me. I'm asking everybody. And I'm you asking. can call. You yeah. can call the mayor's office. The mayor. You can call the governor's office. You know. You can you call can, DPH. You can call DPH. Mickey's been putting up the numbers with uh, the, the DPH commissioner. There's so much you can do. 
keep doing it. And we're, we're having an effect, you know? I mean, we essentially, I, I, the, the communication director for Health and Human Services answered my phone call, you know? And for that to, to happen, you know, for, for them to actually make statements publicly when, you know, normally they would just you know, not even answer the phone and just pretend like you didn't exist, They're, they feel the fire. We're, we're doing it. Yeah. So we need to keep holding that feet. Keep that fire, going. Hold that fire to their feet and make them do it. Yeah. And it's because of these moms speaking out. It's because of everyone in the community. It's because we are almost 200 people ready to go protest on this Facebook page. I mean, more keep than doing. We're going to have thousands. And I want to thank everyone on the show. I want to thank uh, the Bay State Examiner, Maya and Andrew, for being in studio today. First time. They were awesome. I want to thank the King of Pot. Yes. For, for always being there, leading this show today. The King of Pot still relevant to this day. And uh, I want to thank Healthy Hetty's Lifestyle here. Um, the couple. Thank you. Thank you, Holly and Steve. Thanks, guys. We got Crespo behind the board, too. We definitely want to thank him. Yo. And we're late, so we're done. Yep. And Frankie, thank you. Hey, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, <laughs> especially I after last week, too. Frankie. You know, especially after the last few weeks, we, 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 even though we have having issues, we're killing it. No, you know, and things are just going to keep getting better, and, and, and we're just going to keep the pressure on, and, and we're going to keep doing what we do. And, and next uh, week, we'll if be you back. Do it with us. We're going to be back with Alvin Falchuk, so don't miss that. Good night. See you next week, six p.m. The Young Jerks. W E M F Radio Now.